So you've got a camera better than your webcam. You want to be able to hook it up to your PC. You need a capture card. So what is a capture card? Well, there's no point getting too far into the technology of this, but the very simplest version is it is basically an adapter that will allow you to connect a HDMI connection into a USB connection, which is the standard kind of connection you'll find on all your PCs and laptops. One example of a capture card, probably the most popular and also probably one of the most expensive ones on the market is the Camlink 4K. So the Camlink is really great because this is the latest version from them. So it can do all the way up to 4K quality footage. Obviously it'll do lower as well, HD 720p. As you can see at the top, it has a USB kind of connection that we just plug straight into your computer. And if I flip it around, you'll see it's just got your standard HDMI port. So that looks very like the ports you'll find on the back of your television or a lot of more modern monitors. So that's really all it is. It's just something that can help you connect a camera or any device that has a HDMI out into your computer. And if you don't want to spend the full price of something like a cam link, which comes in, I think about 130 euro on amazon.co.uk. I'll have links for all of these guys below. Not that you have to buy the stuff on Amazon. It's just a handy way so that you can actually see the product directly and you can search around and see if you can get better or worse prices. Um, your other option is something like this guy, which is, ah, yes, I just dropped that. Let's try that again. So your other option is something like this guy, which is a generic HDMI capture card. Now, this is just one that's available at the moment on Amazon. I'm not sure whether it'll be available forever or not. I'm not sure it's a fully licensed HDMI one, but you'll see it's got the USB port in the front and obviously in the back, you got the HDMI as well. And then the big question is, what's the difference? Well, price. Uh, that Camlink 4K, now it can do up to 4K, is, as I said, 130 euro. The generic capture card comes in at about 22 euro, 23 euro, depending which seller you find on Amazon at the moment. And the results are pretty amazing. I'll show you that afterwards, but it's very, very similar if you're just doing high definition and not 4K, but I'd imagine most of you are. So I'm not saying it's as good as the Camlink, but really it's very hard to see the difference. One of the things I really like about the Cam Link is that it does come with this little USB extender. Um, now you could buy these separately, of course, and with a generic capture card, it would still be vastly, vastly cheaper. But the reason this is useful is twofold. Firstly, it gives you a little bit more length because it can be a little bit tight trying to connect your camera all the way up to your computer, depending where it is, especially if it's a desktop that's sitting on the ground. But also what it does is you've got a couple of things plugged into your computer. Sometimes there's not that much space between the two USB ports and things can get a little bit tight. And as you've seen with the capture cards, they're a little bit chunky, especially up here now at the USB end. So you imagine if you had one or two things like that, they probably wouldn't plug straight into your laptop. So the little extender is a handy thing. I'm sure you can pick these up very easily elsewhere. So I'm not advocating spend the extra 100 euro on a cam link just for that, but it's just something to bear in mind. Now, the other thing you're gonna need with your capture card to connect your camera to your computer is a cable. Um, and that will be a HDMI cable of sorts. So HDMI is the basic kind of cable. You've probably been connecting your DVD or Blu-ray players to your TV for the last, I don't know, 10 or 15 years. But there are a few different types that camera use. Now, maybe you have a full HDMI connection, which basically is that full chunky one at both ends, but more than likely your camera will probably take either a mini HDMI or a micro HDMI. And let me tell you, speaking from experience, there is a difference. Uh, I stupidly jumped in and ordered two mini HDMI cables to try and connect these cameras up to my computer and then had to wait the extra four or five days for the micro HDMI cables to come. As far as cables I recommend, Amazon Basics have been great. Uh, they're very cheap. I think it was about four or five euro each. Uh, and of course you'll only need one, 1 1.8 meters, which is a decent length. That's for the mini HDMI. I think the micro HDMI is a little bit shorter, so it's a little tighter, but you do not need to spend 
the larger amounts of money. You can spend up to 20 or 30 euro on these cables and they'll tell you for a whole load of reasons, but I'm running 4K out of my camera using the basic cable for four or five euro and it's working perfectly for me. The, again, there'll be links below just so you can go along to them. You can find them from other people as well. It was just easier for me to get it on Amazon and it was probably the cheapest I could find anyway. But if you can find cheaper ones, again, put them in the comments, send them on to me. We'll share that information with everyone. And the last thing you need to be sure of before you get any of this stuff is that your camera can provide something called clean HDMI. So clean HDMI just basically means that your camera will give you the image it's recording with no extra information on top. Uh, the kind of information that a lot of cameras will give you is they'll give you like say the exposure, uh, if you're recording, you'll have your time code, you might have, I don't know, a brightness level or something like that, audio levels. The reason cameras export that type of stuff is because people connect their cameras up to external monitors and they want to be able to monitor exactly what settings they have going at one time, which is great when you're monitoring a camera, but obviously if you're recording it, you don't want any of that information on screen. So clean HDMI is what you're looking for. You can find this out very easily. Just go to Google, put in your camera model and search for it. Usually it's something in the settings where it's either turning off overlays or clean HDMI or you'll figure it out, but just make sure you have it. And then just on your camera, make sure that it is set on the settings that you're gonna record at. So if you've bought the cam link like I was showing you, then obviously you can set your camera up for 4K recordings and that's great. More than likely though, I think you'll be recording in high definition, whether you're using the cam link or one of the generic capture cards. So just have your camera set on 1080p, which is full high definition, and try and make sure that the frame rate your camera is set at is the same frame rate that you're actually recording on your computer. Uh, we'll do another little video about those details afterwards. But for now, just make sure your camera is set to 1080p. And if you're in Europe, most likely maybe 25 frames per second. If you're in America, 30 frames per second or 29.97. The only reason these things matter actually is you just can get a little bit of flicker off lights. And I'll give you an example of that in another video. But for now, just bear it in mind. Connecting this to your computer is really easy, okay? I usually recommend do all the connections before you turn your camera on. Um, I, honestly, as far as I've seen, it works fine either way, but it's just good practice. So take your HDMI cable, connect it into your capture card, then connect the HDMI cable into your camera. You should just click in nicely and then plug the capture card itself into your PC. It's as simple as that. More than likely, the screen on the back of your camera will probably go black at this point because it knows that you're seeing the image through somewhere else. You can probably have it so that both are on if you want, but you shouldn't really need it because you're gonna be able to monitor yourself from the computer now. Okay, <laughs> bit of a disaster. Um, well, let's get the microphone over here. I just broke a uh, generic capture card one is no more. Uh, I don't know if it was easier to break because it's the cheaper one, but I was trying to get it into the USB port and stretching it out because the cable was a little bit short and I pushed this little bit a little bit too hard and now it doesn't work anymore. So I can't do the comparison video. So I've ordered a new one off Amazon. It should be here in about four days and I will finish the video off then. But until then, let's reflect on the precious moments and the happy times we had together with generic capture card number one. We hardly knew you.